Previously on The Ultimate Fighter. No, for real. I'm not playing. From the get-go, the teams were at each other's throats. Well, you want to make this mobbed up, man? I just wanted to... Mm. Nate and Rob had an all-out brawl that left a lasting impression on the other fighters. That was probably the best fight we've ever had. Hey, that fight was... That was probably the best fight we've had. Go into your ragtime. The coaches questioned Gabe's desire to fight. I mean, you're worrying about getting tubes shoved up your ass instead of worrying about fighting. He needed to be put in his place, you know? I mean, that's your opinion. You're where, Paul Miller. With victories from Cole, Manny, and Nate, Team Pulver is 3-0. and Can Team Penn stop their momentum? <laughs> or will another one of BJ's fighters bite the dust on the road to becoming the ultimate fighter? Nathan Diaz. Nate, do you want that right there, attaboy? Ding, ding, round one starts. They come out. Nate is the aggressor. He's pressing the fight. You know, he's using his, his reach. He's lighting him up a lot. He's trying to get him down. Doesn't, you know, Emerson does a good defense. Come on, Emerson, let's go! Diaz gets right, right in his face, right in his wheels at him, just keeping constant pressure, clenching him, going for moves, going for throws, going for Camaros. You know, Robert landed a couple... A couple nice leg kicks, but nothing big. And, uh, you know, that first round ended with uh, Diaz just uh, kind of outworking Robert, and, and he looked tired. Work, baby. Come on, D. Let's fight. Second round comes out, and Diaz lands a nice body kick, straight body kick. Boom. Looked like that took a little more of the fight out of him. Just from there, just proceeded to beat on him. Pressure! Pressure! Nice! Emerson, don't stop! Spin! Spin! Spin, Emerson! Robert got beat today, but he wasn't beaten. You know, like, uh, Nate didn't take away his heart, didn't take away his spirit, didn't take away his willingness to fight. You know, especially with the arm bars and the chokes and all those things he escaped. And uh, for that, in my eyes, I think Robert grew in stature. Watch your neck! Watch your neck! Watch your neck! Pull it! Pull it off, Emerson! Diaz finally got to his back. 15 seconds left in the fight, something like that. Choked him out. It was awesome. Emerson got my respect. Win, lose, or draw. He went out there and he gave it all. So we're down 0 and 3, but you know, I think we got a chance. We can turn this thing around and it, it's not over. It's, it's not over till it's over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How's it feel, man? Tell me. How's it feel? Awesome, right? Now I'm 3 0. We have 4 to come. I want them all to keep winning. Dude, we're going to check this guy, right? That's it. Would I beat him on stand-up? You would beat him everywhere. You made him work. Go good. Good. You got that first win out of the way. Pressure's off with that one, so I think it went it went well. I like how it turned out. Again, another great fight. Good job, gold team. Work on three. One, two, three, work! Turn your body. Turn your body. Use your feet. Use your feet. Your feet. There you go. Just get used to it. You'll get used to it. With Weems, I don't know. I'm starting to notice it myself. It's just, he's way behind. I mean, he really is. He's way behind. You know, and there's only so much I can do with him because it's the same token. I can't spend all my time working with just one guy. Your leg is still there. 
You're not pivoting. Yeah, Wayne, I don't think he has too much skills. His stand-up game is not there. His ground game is not there. His endurance is not there. He's just learning, you know? Queens, we can see the f***ing bend in your back like a rainbow. It's like you're sticking your titties out. Back straight. Roll them back. Now, drop down. We had to do some plyos, and they're just really, really tough. And I wasn't doing the form correctly because I've never done plyos before. So Jens was kind of, you know, getting on me a little bit, making sure that I was trying to do the form right and that I wasn't trying to dog it or get out of it. Drop your ass! Drop your ass! I've said it five f***ing times. Five times. You're trying to get the easy way out of here. F*** that. I'm not I'm watching you the whole time from now on. Pass it. Ten air squats. You know, I think just getting beat up in practice, you know, for me, that's a learning experience. For him, it could be defeatist, it could be hurting his morale, but I'm not here to wash his butt and, you know, give him a pat and put a diaper on him. I mean, he got on this show for a reason, came out here to prove something. He's just got to step up and prove it. Don't you, no, don't you tire. Come on, come on, brother, don't you tire. Don't look for the easy way out. Please. I have a never say die attitude. I mean, even when the tie, you know, the tables are turned and I'm down and I'm out, I'm never gonna, I'm never gonna quit. I'm never gonna give up. I'm here to be the best fighter at 155. I mean, I came out here to train and be the best. Someone's got to do it. Someone's got to do Someone's it. Someone's right? got to do it. I might as well be the guy. At this point, they don't have control. But I was still strategizing to pick Weems to get me to the next round with BJ because he would be an obvious choice if you want to get the easiest fight out of the way. We you're not control. trying to get an easy fight, are you? Uh, what you get your hands on? <laughs> I'll take whatever you, 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 you You're going to end up with tough fights anyway. That's what I'm saying. You're going to end up with like, tough fights anyway. I, Gabe comes to me and he's like, I'll take all Weems. <laughs> and then I start to think, I'm like, what? You can take all Weems? He's like, Somebody's got to do it. He's got to. He's got to get. He's got to get his ass kicked sooner or later. I want to work some. I want to fight someone that I can just stand with. How's Wien stand up? You, you no, it's rubbish. It's rubbish. Okay, don't underestimate it. No, though. of course not at all. You know. Okay. All right, but I want the Be next there to win. Okay. Okay. Uh huh. Did you ask BJ if you could fight Weems? Are you serious? I think that's weak, dude. Gabe tried to. Uh, Pulling some stuff with BJ, we overheard him talking in the gym about him wanting to fight Weems, um, which I wasn't having that. I knew the rest of the guys weren't having that. Uh, Gabe was talking all this stuff earlier about, you know, he's ready to fight, he'll fight whoever. And then for him to try to take Weems, I think that was like kind of a coward way out. Dude, That's Gabe. Weakness. Dude, oh, I like man. you, I like you from the down, beginning. Down. I told you that, but dude, that rubs me the wrong way, dude. What? He went behind our backs and hit a video about fighting like. He didn't behind your back. You didn't bring it up to the team like, oh, can you guys care if I fight Weems? You just like brought up to BJ like that. I was gonna say something there, but I didn't like want to put you on the spot in front of them. You think that like I was trying to like be sneaky? Oh, but we've always done things and made decisions here as a team, dude. You know? Nah. I said, what do you think about me fighting Weems? He goes, uh, someone's got to fight him. I said, yeah. Doesn't honestly, in the end, it doesn't matter. Why are you going to fight Weems? Someone's got to do it. Can we cut this out? It's uh, vibes in this round. I know I'm going to have a hard fight regardless. Is this both of them or is it one? It's both of them. Jake Johnson. Well, all the guys on the team think he's been in this thing for himself from the beginning. Kind of just looking for the easy way out. You know, talk's a talk, but we're not sure if he's willing to walk the walk. But um, I don't know. We'll see what happens when he uh, has to fight. Melendez wants to fight next. It's yet to be decided whether or not Jens is going to let him. He hasn't been training very hard, not to mention he's way overweight. You know, he's got a lot of things stacked against him. I messed up my foot. So I've just been trying to baby it. Not training as hard. I'm sure everyone's getting sick of me limping around, but you know, it really does hurt. If your foot's that bad, you know what I'm saying, we got to do something. We got to take the next step. That's my thing. I'm not going to let you up your potential because you're hungry, but at the same token, all you're able to do is ride an air dime. Right, we got a potential problem with Melendez. I mean, he's looking beat up, and he wanted the next fight. All right, I understand he wanted to be healthy, but at the same token, you got to push it, too. You got to do what we're doing. Or I'm not, you're not fighting. Everybody's got the bumps and bruises. 
man. You're not telling me anything new. I'm just babying it, so it's not sore when I fight. I don't want to have it be sore, so when I'm in the fight, I gotta, uh, uh, I'm not springy on my feet. Does that make sense? Okay, well, oh, yeah, it does make sense. And it's good to explain that to me, because let me tell you something. You're doing such a good job of babying it right now, you got me not wanting to put you in there. I'm thinking to myself, well, I know my body. I know how my body performs. All I'm saying is, straight up, you're not going to sit on that airdyne to the day you go into the fight. No f***ing way am I doing it, period. It's not happening. It's not happening. But, you know, Jens has been there and done that, so you have to kind of just, you know, take what they say. But my foot hurts. You know, I'm here at six weeks, you know, whatever. Jens, me and man have been talking. We're talking and, about our boy, bro. And you're fired. What boy is that? I'm mean, I mean, doing the right thing, bro. He's just, he's just upset. He's not, he's struggling with his weight. I know what he's trying to do. And he's trying to get out of the tough practice because he's drained from the cutting the weight. Yeah. He, he haven't even seen 160 yet. Not even probably 165. Yeah. I haven't heard him being under 168 yet. I heard he's under 166. He might hit the yeah. brakes. I want the cool in the legs. I'm going to do, well, I'm the same way. Uh, Melendez, you know, I'm worried about him not making the weight. I'm going to hold my breath, man, and just have faith. That he's gonna come through, like you said, but I gotta draw the line and say, look, Melendez, you gotta you need to let me know you wanna be here. And that weight, if that weight is your biggest battle, we got problems. I'm telling you right now, just be ready. I'm always ready, baby. There you go. And you're only five pounds over now. Yeah, I'm always just, ready. I'm not worried about it. But if he ain't if he ain't within five, come announce from time, I'm not fighting. Jens has tried to tell me that if I didn't make 160, like five pounds over, that I couldn't fight. But I'm a natural 170, trying to force my way down to 155. My weight's borderline. I have to cut like 10 pounds, so I'm kind of having a hard time. When you get in that sauna and you're in there for, you know, an extended amount of time, seconds, feel like minutes, it's just, you get so dizzy and you just, it's just uncomfortable. It's the most uncomfortable thing. I was so sick at the sauna and I was struggling and all I was thinking about was proving to myself and Jens that I'm ready and I want to get in there. Marlon, do you have a nickname? Mr. Indestructible. Who gave you that? I've been a really, 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 really massive street fighter. I stopped counting after, like, the a couple hundred street fights that I've been in. Marlon Sims is the biggest exaggerator of all time. What I like to call a bull Well, I had people coming from all over the place just to come walking right up to me in a bar and say, you're Marlon Sims, yeah, and then just start throwing at me. He'll tell you that he's got 300 street fights, that he's fought seven guys. It sounds like a Steven Seagal movie to me. I see these two guys coming out. I come over and I, bam, and I leg kick him. He grabs his leg, he, goes, he hits the ground, oh, and he stands back up and he's like, do that again, dick. So I punch him in the face and I drop him. And then the third guy comes out and I grab him by the back of the head and I smack him in the face with a knee. He dropped on the ground and this guy starts coming. I walk in, I hit him with a right-left combo and I drop him. He's, he's telling us, I fought five guys at once. I'm who you are. You, you don't fight five guys at once. So, yeah, he, he's full of shit. There's just endless guys, like, coming out of nowhere. Okay, there's one guy, then there's three guys, and then, yeah. like, they, maybe they're, like, <laughs> maybe, like, rabbits. They're, they're like, well, there's those three guys, and there's the guy, that, there's the guy that I already knocked out first. So that's four total, right? I'm calling shenanigans. That's fine. You can do whatever you want. Everything that you hear from Marlon Sims in this house, no matter how outlandish or fantastic it may seem, is true. Marlon, shenanigans. I will bet you a thousand nice dollars. Nice handshake. He fights 30 guys at a time with his eyes closed. Uh, he drinks the blood of his p opponents. This man is a walking nightmare. Good. If that was the case, you are the f in. Thank you. you, think Thank you, you everybody, everybody, round of, round of applause for the big fish, Marlon. Dana couldn't be here today, had some business, so Gold Team won. Uh, Diaz, congratulations on that last fight. Great fight. So let's take a look at the standings. These are the Burger King Ultimate Fighter standings. Have it your way. Alan, Noah, 
And Rob Emerson has been eliminated. Cole, Manning, and Nate Diaz have all moved on to the next round. I'm going to have Melendez go ahead and step up. I was worried about Brandon, but you know, he did the weight part right, and it worked out great, and his attitude is great. And so right now, getting him motivated for this fight is all we can do. I think you know who to pick. Let's do it, man. Let's do it. Let's do it. You know what they say, fortune cookies. Be What's careful that? for what you wish for, man. And I'm really glad that, you know, Brandon picked me. You know what I mean? Like, uh, out of the whole Team Pulver, um, he's one of those guys that I respect as a person and as a fighter. And I know we're going to push each other 100%. I don't need a lot of yelling and screaming, Kurt. You know, I'm a pro. You know what I mean? And um, when lose or drop, man, I'm going to bring it. You know what I mean? But main thing, like I said, I just want to say, whatever happens, man, like, I, I wouldn't have wanted to be anywhere else than with you guys right here right now, man. Thank you. you know, we got one life. We got to roll the dice, and here it is, you know? And uh, and so let's let's rock and roll, man. Brandon, let's rock and roll. Take care of business, you know? That's what we're here to do. Gabe, have you cornered Andy before? Uh, so you know change you want this uh, what you say. No matter what. No matter what. No matter what. I've known Andy for years. And the biggest po problem with Andy's game is that he likes to throw down. Uh, sometimes he goes with reckless abandon, uh, and his, I was actually cornered for his last fight, and uh, I kept telling him to take the guy to the ground, take the guy to the ground, and he decided to stand and trade with the guy the whole time. So I want you to be at, shoot on him at least two, two or three times in the oh, yeah. first minute of the fight. Dude, get on him. Hell yeah, get on him, get him out of there. Because you're coming in with two things, takedowns and stand up. Who's going to be better off? I just got to I just got to avoid the brawling like Gabe no. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Wait, if we tell you take you take him down. Honestly, are you going to take yeah. him down? Okay. The one you thing gotta listen cuz we can see what's going on outside. The one we thing can he see will everything. Listen, don't listen. Don't worry, coach. I'm going to listen. Thank you. Thank you. I'm a bad coach if I let you go out there and just brawl with him. Yeah. When he fights Melendez, he takes him down, he's going to he's going to tap him for sure. He's fighting for himself, but he's fighting for the team at the same time. And I think that Andy understands that. Um, and if he fights to his potential, pff, we, we've got the ball in our court, no problem. And you just fight with your ability and all your skill. It's not even a match for you. Yeah. I know it. Look at the fence. There you go. That's how you're going to get him. Beautiful way. I was originally born in uh, Taiwan. Came to America when I was really young. And I'm basically living the American dream. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Fighting for me is a way to, you know, honor my, my family. When I was uh, seven years old, you know, my grandfather, who was, uh, you know, Chinese, he used to take me to the park and teach me Tai Chi. And so, you know, mixed martial arts is a chance for me to show the spirit of, I think, you know, Asian Americans. Go, break and give them three and shoot a double. Shoot. It's not so much the winning or losing, that drives me. It's the, the, the midst of battle, of being in there. You know, the punches are flying, the kicks are flying, your heartbeats racing 100 miles per hour. Yeah, beautiful way. See on him. Andy's tough mentally, and he's also a black belt in jiu-jitsu. No sense to get into a boxing match. When you do that all night long, you're going to get your takedown. If I win my fight tomorrow night, it'll be because I prepared greatly. If I lose tomorrow night, it'll be because my opponent's better than me. No excuses. You know what I mean? And that's what I love about this. That's what I love about fighting, man. It's one-on-one. -on -one. Um, it's just me and him when the cage is locked. You know, it's put over shut up time. I'm going to earn my respect inside the cage, and I'm not leaving until I get it. Fight your fight. Don't fight his fight. This Way In is brought to you by Scion. What moves you? Oh, hell no! Play 55 and a half. Oh. Damn it, baby. I'm stunned. Bottom line, Lind has made it. Now he's got to go out there and hopefully he's fired up and he puts it on the line. 155. Thank you. All right. Yeah. 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 Woo! Melendez has great stand-up. 
Um, but Andy's great jujitsu guy, so if he can get in, get the takedown, he might be able to submit him. Copy my barbecue. And he wins. After I whoop his ass, I'm gonna have a beer. So I gave 55, it was pain in the ass. Now I'm eating whatever I want. So, you know, I'll be like 170, 175. So I'll be way heavier than Andy. Oh, dude, I'm so full. I'm walking in the gym. It's like a normal day of training. And, uh, Kind of did a double take at the janitor sweeping up the mats. They needed a good janitor, so I thought, hey, what's up, man? And sure enough, it was Matt Hughes. I'm like, what is this all about? Why is he sweeping the mats? What is he doing here? Sweet. Did you tell us you were coming? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, God. There was no hiding introduce. <laughs> you got to change something up a little bit just to refresh him. So I called Matt Hughes. I mean, he's like a big brother to me, you know? Always has been. Me and him have been together for seven years. We started this together, you know, fighting. That's why I want him here. I want him to work with these guys. These guys want a fresh voice. They're tired of looking at me. Take it. I'm, I'm with you. If, if, family. if they know you at all, they're not tired of looking at you. They're probably tired of listening to you, too. I don't talk. I'm not talking. A little bit. <laughs> you have shut up since you started running that motor. <laughs> uh, it sucks that my team has to come around and call me out. <laughs> All right. Oh, Good feet. Good feet. I'm here because the Jens and I are family, and I want to come help him as much as I can. I want to let him have success, and more importantly than that, I want his eight guys to have success. If I was a betting man, I'd say BJ Penn didn't do much today with his group. Who would feel like doing anything if I was BJ in BJ Penn's group? You guys feed off your wins. You guys get hungry and hungry. I like the team. They've got something to build off of. Kind of high energy, good times, and everybody was willing to learn. And that's a great atmosphere for me who wants to coach. We'll go about 75 and just kind of play, you know what I'm saying? Matt Hughes helped me a lot for my fight. We went over some techniques one on one. You know, it was good. You know, good motivation. So this is the most important thing I can show you. No matter if it's punching, kicking, submissions, takedowns, uh, you gotta have this right here. Andy's in black belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, so I think that he's gonna try to shoot and maybe work some submission. <laughs> Brandon's skill level was great. It looks like his opponent's going to try and take him down and go for a submission or something, but uh, I think his chances of winning the fight are, are very good. That's all, okay. <laughs> Working your guards. It's about the only thing I got going for. in trouble. Unfortunately, my grandfather passed away. He was my first martial arts instructor, but it's all the motivation I need. You know, he prepared me for for this day in my life, you know? Like, 25 years ago, I didn't know it, but this is what he prepared me for. And um, I'm not gonna let him down. I'm not gonna let him down. My little Malachi. That's your son's name? Yeah, Malachi. I just bring this, so I thought it'd be cute. I got a family, I got a beautiful wife, daughter, son. You know, I got an opportunity of a lifetime to do something good for my family, so I'm going to take advantage of it. It's like a samurai never got the arrow in the back. They always got the arrow in the chest, though, you know? I don't want to be remembered for someone that took arrows in the back, you know what I mean? I ran from problems, you know what I mean? My goal in every fight is to show warrior spirit. I'm not here for the money. I'm not here for the fame. I'm here to give my respect on the battlefield. Live like a man, die like a man, then you become a man. You know? You spell your name right? I respect him, and he's a good man. But when I'm landed some hardcore elbows on his dome, cutting him up, I'm not going to feel bad at the time. I'm sorry, man. But... <laughs> putting you to sleep. I love it, Wang. I love it, man. Beautiful. 
I just feel like with my mental strength, my technical ability, I feel like at some point I'm gonna have my chance in the fight to do what I do best. And um, when the opportunity comes, I'll be ready for it. That's beautiful. Pop, pop, bang, or bang, pop, pop. You know, boom, just control, control the fight. Just gonna pound on him, you know, rattling his brain until it stopped. You know, I wanna make my money. I'm gonna find out today where my desk is. Brandon, to hold back, man, because I'm not gonna hold anything back. And you know, when it's all said and done, the dust is cleared. There's gonna be some blood, tears, everything. So let's do it. Let's rock and roll, man. I'm here to take care of business, man. Go, big brain. Andy, I hope you bring your A game. You know, I hope you're a smart fighter, because if you're not, you're gonna get cut up, you're gonna get banged on, you know. Protect that chin, baby, because you're gonna get your lights put out. Fourth preliminary fight. The winner moves on to the quarterfinals. Two five-minute rounds. If the end of those two rounds, the judges declare it a draw, we move on to sudden victory. The winner of that round wins the fight. Good luck, boys. Ah, here we go. Are you ready? Are you ready? Let's get it on. Come on. This fight clock is brought to you by Direct TV. For the most sports in HD, you've got to get Direct TV. Don't reach, don't reach. There you go, take your time. Go away, be first. Legs back, legs back. Knee, knee. Watch your feet, watch your feet. Hands up, wait, hands up, wait. Don't force it. Don't force it. Don't force it. Hands up, hands up, Bobby Weave. Watch now, don't left, catch bro. it, just twist. One, two. One, two, jab, jab, jab. Set it up. Out of one. Hands up, take your time. time. Take your time. Go away. Bang. Watch your left hand. Every kick is. Punches in. Let me punch it. Go, take your time. Come. Watch your head, nice. watch your head. Come on now. Andy, punches in. Punches, baby! Punches in! Poke, poke, poke. Come on, work forward, work forward. Come on, take your time. Go, Andy! It's all right, get in that zone. There you go. Get in that zone. There you go. Watch it. Hands up. Overhead right shot. Away from the left hand. Don't move. Second to your left. Second to your left. That boy, there you go. Circle. Circle. There. Circle. Make sure you're circling, brother. There you go. All day. Circle. 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 There you go. That single, Andy. Keep that jab going. Circle. Punch. Keep circling. Keep circling. Punch to your shot, Andy. There you go. There you go. Circle to the left, Andy. There you go. Three minutes to go. Don't catch it. Nice. Nice. Don't catch it, Melinda. Come on, hands up. Good shot, Andy. Andy, the other way. Don't catch it out. Andy, let's go. Where's the shot? Where's the jab? Circle, circle. Set up a shot, Andy. Keep your left hand up. Come on. Keep your left hand up. Melinda, keep that left hand up. Keep that left hand up. Come on now, circle. Overhead right single. Circle, take your time. Come on, circle. Hands up, hands up. Let's go. 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 Let's go.
There you go. There, circle. Two minutes to go. Shot in. Shot in. There you go. Shot. Hold it. Get those hands up now, Leonard. Come on, buddy. Circle, circle. tired, Andy. There, you're closing the distance when you circle. Circle to your left, Andy. Circle to your left. Circle to your left, Andy. There you go. Circle, brother. Circle. Circle to your left. Circle. Use that right hand, Andy. Shot. There you go. Shot. Take him down, Andy! Watch that overhand, that's all he's got. Keep that left up. Keep that left up. One minute, Andy. Stop right there, Tom. Melendez. Melendez. Keep that left up. All he's got is a loop. All he's doing is over the corner right over here. Right 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 I know. Give me that shot. Right here. You're going there. Get over there now. Right here on the other side. Shot, Andy! All right. Time in, let's fight. Hands up, Andy. Circle to your left. Let's go. Like that, okay? All he's got is an overhand right. What, what you trying to do? Take him down. Bang, 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 bang. Power. Take him down and then start the fight. Yes, sir. Let's go. Okay. Tommy, let's, let's go. go. Come down. All right, second down. Sure.
side. Atta boy, go to work. Hands up when he comes in. Eddie, take him down. Take him down. Fine, we have a unanimous judge's decision. Winner. Oh! This fight recap is brought to you by Amped Mobile. Let's go away. Early in the first round, Brandon hit me with a really good left. Knocked me down. I was like, oh man, it's like it felt like someone was trying to take my lunch money. And uh, you know, that that became my mentality, and I was like. All right, he knocked me down. The only way I can win this fight now is if I knock him out. Take him down, Andy. Where's the shot, Andy? Andy, take him down. Go now. Take him down. BJ is screaming, screaming from the corner to take him down. But the kid will not listen to BJ and will not take this guy down. Take him down. Take him down. Andy was supposed to go out, punch a little, and get the takedown. But to me, it was a lie what he told us. He should have just came out and said, I'm not going to take him down, guys. I don't care what you say. It's a waste of time to tell him. I heard everybody knew what they were saying, but like I said, I, I'm stubborn that way. I, I was so focused on knocking the guy out. And, and when it became that kind of fight, it fell into his hands. Nice. I just came out with a good game plan. I kept it on the feet, you know, and every time I kept throwing out that jab, I kept landing it, I kept throwing in combinations. It was just a back and forth battle. I don't know why he didn't shoot in. He should have, you know, it's, he's a black belt, you know, but. He didn't. Oh! You know, the fight went my way. Ah! Team Power's in control one more time. Start in control, we end in control. <laughs> After the fight, I felt really sorry. Because, like, I know I let some people down. And, like, that's hard on me. <laughs> 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 There's no reason to be sad because you decided what you wanted to do when you went out there, man. <laughs> Come on, man. How can you sit there and be sad in the ring? Doesn't want to listen to a word anybody says. It's unreal.
You know, I feel like I let down a lot of people, basically. I didn't let myself down, but I know I let down a lot of people, and that's something I'm gonna have to atone for. He thought, that's just bottom line, he thought he was gonna go out there brawl, and everybody was gonna hold him up and say that he's the greatest thing since Bruce Lee. Nope, it's done. Your chances were over. Everybody likes a winner, nobody likes a loser, it's done. I don't care how you did. <laughs> Disappointed that I lost, but I don't feel like a loser. Honestly, I feel like people when they see Andy Wang, they don't say, "Oh, he's a punk." He's all they say, "Hey, man, this is a warrior." <laughs> On the next episode of The Ultimate Fighter, he missed it. Crow is out. Noah pisses Tony off and pays the price. I'll get on you. I'll get on you again if you keep talking. Corey finally gets his wish yeah. and calls out Gabe. He's got to make sure Gabe makes the weight, huh? But Gabe needs to cut 22 pounds to make weight. Under 30. Corey trains like a madman. Get on the bike. Let's go. While Gabe begins a desperate race to get to 155. Bro, you got an hour and a half. Come on, three pounds. Are you done? Who will rise to the challenge and become the next ultimate fighter?